welcome everyone out of the woo here. This gentleman that you are making eye contact with lives in East LA, but where does he work? He works in Vernon, Vernon, California, to be exact, which is where you and I are at this precise moment here on my second channel, Daily Blog channel. It's Adam the Woo, and it's the Daily Woo. People have been saying I have not been singing the Daily Woo intro enough, so I need to start singing the Daily Woo intro enough. But first, I need to cross this road. And why am I crossing the road? Because I'm going to show you something amazing. I am talking about the world's largest shunk-a-kunk-a-kunk-a-kunk-a-kunk-a-kunk-a-kunk-a-kunk-a-kunk. The world's largest pig mural. And I'm saying it's the world's largest pig mural because I'm not actually 100% confident that it is. And I'm just going to say that it is because obviously this thing stretches two or three blocks. Is this the world's largest pig mural? It's the right along here. Houses in the city of Vernon. The large? The last slaughtering house in the Vernon. Okay, we got to cross the road. We're going here. This is the last slaughtering, slaughtering house. house in the city of, of Vernon. Vernon. See, I'm from Florida. I just moved here. Okay. So this fascinates me that they have all of these pig murals. And that's what they do. All they of the pigs. You know how many slaughter a day? How many pigs do they 3, slaughter? Three thousand pigs a day. Oh my. God. Three thousand pigs a day. They come but in there is trucks. there are no slaughtering on the front. They have happy images exactly. on the front because exactly. they want to present the appearance of exactly. non-slaughtering pigs. All right. Nice to meet you. Okay. Uh, are you I'm a truck Adam, driver? No, my name's Adam. Oh, you're, you're a truck driver? I just moved here from Florida. Okay, what I am, I'm a lumper out here. All the trucks that come in here, all this is, is industry. Yeah. And uh, we unload the trucks here. Okay. So I'm out here a little early looking for work. Okay. Okay. Thank all you, right, buddy. Okay, have a, have good, a good one, man. Right, you too. That is interesting. 3,000 pigs. I guess I should have got that guy's contact info. If anyone had any work, they could actually, I didn't get his name. Did anyone catch his name as well? He was very helpful when it comes to how many pigs they slaughtered. Now, when I started the vlog, I did not want to mention how many pigs were actually slaughtered behind these walls because we have to stay positive. We have to stay, even though the reality of the situation is kind of scary, here at Farmer John's... What's the name of this place? Farmer John's since 1931. And you can see a guy with a pitchfork you can see pigs there shaking its underbelly, its nether regions, if you will. You know what's very interesting? The gentleman that actually approached me, he's actually going right across across the street. He followed us across the road. Probably just wanted to ask for some work. I really wish that I, I owned a company or some sort of job and then I could have helped that gentleman out. However, I do not. So if you're in Vernon and you see that kind gentleman walking around, go up to him and say, I saw you on the Daily Woo. I would like to hire you for the day. He's a truck driver by trade, and he gave us some good, useful information about the city of Vernon and this wonderful place right here. And look, oh my gosh, look at the size of this. Let's cross over here. Look at the size of this humongous Farmer John. I'm not gonna use the S word that he used, the Farmer John, you know what house. I do not want to basically present that because there might be children. Let's face it, there are children listening to this, and we do not want to. We don't want the reality to set in, set in on what happens to the pigs behind these walls. The point of this vlog is to show off this massive mural. So do me a favor, look up online. Is this the world's largest mural when it comes to pigs? Pretty crazy. This guy right here is chasing a pig. He's, he wants to tackle that pig. Look at this right here. This guy wants to, come here pig. Come here pig, let me catch your pig. And this guy is grabbing the dog by the tail. Come here doggy, let me grab that tail. Catch that pig, catch that pig. And this, look at this. Oh my gosh, he's wearing an LA Los Angeles cap, Vernon. It's just a suburb, if you will, of LA. It's just on the outskirts of LA. In fact, just over this horizon somewhere, you can actually see the edges of LA, which is actually super cool. And this guy, truck right here, is yelling at us. Whoa, 
Remember the guy earlier that was telling us the facts and figures? He's yelling at us from across the road, letting us know that here come the lovely piggies going to get their meal. They're going to go on vacation. They're going to go into these walls. And once they're in the walls, they're going to have a good time, kind of hang around with their friends, and then they're going to get back on the truck, as far as you know, and they're going to leave the property. Awesome. He's letting us know again, very helpful guy letting us know that those were pigs. And he reiterated, you could hear him whispering from across the street saying that the pigs are going in there to have a good time, to, ha to associate with their other pig friends. Then they're going to be transported to another area and they're just on an eternal vacation, if you will. And that's what the reality of these pigs, as far as you know, are. So let's take a look at the world's largest, this vlog is already off to a very bizarre start. <laughs> that is for sure. But look at these pigs. Farmer John. Since 1931, that would make John a very elderly gentleman in the eyes of the pigs. And Farmer John probably has outlisted and outlasted most of these pigs that are right here along this mural. In fact, there's Farmer John right up there. You see Farmer John, that's Farmer John's son, right up there. And there is Farmer John way up there. So let's take a look at this massive mural that goes around a couple square blocks and just kind of see the ambiance. Look at this little fox right down here and this dog. And look at these, what are these? Those aren't peacocks. What exactly are those? What kind of birds? What kind of fowl are these? And look at this. This cat or dog-like creature is going to attack those at any moment. And look, not only that animal, but this. Boo! Boo! Looking up. Boo! Looking up at them. Looking for pigs. Looking. Oh, look at that pig. Right up there. And this pig is waving at us as well. This this basically would be a pig. If I was a pig, I would be, be this pig underneath this water spout because I am always looking for water. Pretty crazy. Oh, there's a better, a better shot right up there of Farmer John right there. Farmer John since 1931. Pretty cool. Oh, does anyone actually know what the names of these are. They grow near a body of water, like a swampy area. They look like corn dogs, but does anyone actually know what that drawing of those are supposed to be? Right here in the pig infested area of Vernon, California. And right over here. Oh, wait a second. Whoa, hey. Eric. What's up? It's Eric, everyone. What are you doing here? You scared my pig. I scared uh, your. This is your pig? He's hiding behind the bush. Did you name this pig? Yes. yes. I didn't know you came out here to look at the mural. That's it's, I, it's my pig. His name is Dino. Dino yeah. the pig. Is there any significance no, to that? No. Say hello to Dino, everyone, and say hello to Eric. What are you doing out here in Vernon, California? Did you see the guy over there? I did. That was actually talking to me. Yeah, he gave me some useful information about how many pigs. Now, we're not going to talk about what really happens to the pigs. So we're going to go into a fantasy world. The pigs go on vacation let me, here. Let me cover his ears. Right? No, no, no don't, don't tell him. We have, we have already extinguished oh, okay. the facts, and we are in a fantasy world. These pigs are happy here behind They're these walls. They're very happy. They're very well taken care of. And then they are shipped off to other areas for more of an extended vacation. Oh, man. I vacation. wish I could join them. On an extended vacation? Yeah. All right, so would you like to walk with me and we could actually you, see yeah, the I mural? Think, I think my pig will be fine. You think, what was your pig's name again? Dino? Dino, yeah. The pig, which is a Flintstones reference. You're right. right as yeah. well. Whoa, look at this guy. Wow. Now that is a sprinting pig. Look at the size of this thing. Not only is it a large pig, but he's also beelining like a bullet, almost like he got shot out of a cannon. Like, yeah. It's almost like, like if he's running from something. What would he be running? He's so excited to be on vacation yeah, yeah. that he wants to run to the next vacation area. That's a happy pig. That's a very happy pig. That is a happy 
pigs, some pigs like to just chill and smile, and some pigs like to stop and smell the roses, even though this rose is yellow. And I guess, like, a pig has a pretty healthy looking snout. I figured it out. What did you figure out? That pig is playing tag with this pig. That's it. And this, this pig's guy, in the row, in the way. Yeah, and this guy's running. Now see, that pig looks very happy. Look at this face of this pig. That pig, very happy. This pig, very, almost angry. Kid, you want to see anger? About to angry? Yeah. You know what's evil? Evil like, pig? He's up to no good. That, that pig right there is up to no good, obviously, here at Farmer John's since 1931. Look at this guy. This guy wouldn't hurt a fly. I'm going to name him John. You're going to name him John. I feel like he's a farmer. He's been farming since 1931. Yeah. That means he's been farming for about eight decades. Botox. Look at that. <laughs> we are in California near Hollywood, Los Angeles. And this is pretty amazing. They have the bars here keeping us out. They're not keeping yeah, the no. pigs in. We can't go into vacation. They're not keeping the pigs yeah, in. No. They're keeping us out because they don't want us to know the fun that the pigs are having inside. Look at this guy. Having a good time basking in this delicate, joyous Look mud how region. Soothing it looks. They're what? Look how soothing it looks. Soothing. Look at that. <laughs> Look at his eye. Ah. Uh, Ah, oh, yes, he's having a good time, this pig. Man, yeah, that is awesome. He's definitely enjoying himself in this bucket of mud e goodness under this tree. And look at this fish. That's Whoa. Fish. Now, see, the, the cat, you said this is a catfish? I think so, yeah. This catfish, Eric's saying this is a catfish, is trying to get this bait, but he has not been hooked. He is hookless at the moment. And he's actually going to be cast down into the water and get away free. Everything here goes free on their vacation to happiness, including this fish right here. Look at this dog. That is awesome. Not only is the face on this dog very peculiar, but even more peculiar is the dog's owner. This guy right here is very, I don't know, that look in that eye. He's got the crazy look in his eye. What do you think he's thinking at the moment? He's thinking of himself. He's uh, thinking of himself? No, he's thinking of himself. He's saying, boy, when I get home, that fish is going to be tasty. But the fish got away. Yeah, well, maybe, yeah. Pork rinds? Have you ever tried pork rinds? No, I haven't. They're actually pretty good. The best pork rinds I've ever had is at Dollywood. And near Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, they actually show you how they make the pork rinds and they throw them in this vat of grease why and they're very good because he, look okay here is why he's sad because this is a pig and he's looking at a can of pork rinds which is very weird because why would a pig be happy if he was looking at a can of pork rinds because it's empty and he, he didn't get one he's, he's very unhappy because yeah. he wanted that pig really wanted a pork meal. So this is where all the magic happens. And you can see right up there, the water tower, City of Vernon, which is right over there. And there is definitely a vacation-y type of smell yeah. here. It smells like vacation pigs, yeah. vacationing in goodness. This guy is a happy camper, this crow. I don't know why the crow, what the crow symbolizes. All right, we're gonna do, a, I'm gonna do a moment of quietness. I have been talking too much. You have been talking a normal amount, but I have been talking way too much. I'm gonna do a moment of quietness and walk along this mural starting right now.
He's taking himself a little bit of a nap with some squirrels on top. I don't know why I'm talking that way. With some squirrels on top of him. There he's got some Yar beer, which obviously is a pirate beer because there's an eye patch and a pirate. And he's actually taking the rest of the day off. He's actually feeling a little lazy because he has his pitchfork there as well. Look at the size of that pig. More vacationing animals on their way to their vacation area. This is a very unusual vlog to do because it's very hard to not say certain things, obviously, even though the reality, most people understand the way life works and the way things work. But this will actually confuse you because even though you think you know how life works and the way this whole pig thing circulates through our minds and society, this will blow your mind. A pig with a lemonade stand. Lemonade, five cents. Served by a young lass with a pitcher of lemonade or a pig. Your choice. Get your fresh brewed lemonade from a child that looks like she's aged about 38 years, right there, or a pig with a head and a noggin larger than a child that looks like she's aged. 38 years, so that's very confusing. Are you thirsty? You want some lemonade no, there okay, as well? I kind of need to wet my whistle here in a bit. Whoa! These pigs are doing having a little cuddling sesh with the adult pigs. They're happy. Look at this pig. Oh my gosh. Look at this one here. Rolling it's around so in the happy. grass. So what would he be thinking right now? What would be rolling around, no pun intended, rolling around in his mind? probably thinking to himself, don't you wish you were me? Okay, now explain this. He's thinking to himself, don't you, talking about his self, yeah. wish you were me? So yeah. he's thinking, don't you, self, yeah. wish you were me? Or he's looking at me yeah. saying. Yeah. Because you're saying yeah to everything. I, yeah. I, yeah? Yeah. All right, so we have learned a lot here from this pig. Yeah. Right here. And look... <laughs> And look at this guy. Look at this guy's face. And then the one above him, that is the narrowest facial snout we, of any pig. We had a little accident here. Oh, yeah. Look at this. We had a little accident right down below on the ground. Okay. It's all right. Pigs get excited sometimes when they're on vacation. Look, look at these birds. You know what these are? What are those? These are unsent tweets <laughs> from the pigs. Because normally when you're on vacation, you don't have cell signal, right? You're you're making a social networking joke? Yeah. Social media joke? So, In case you didn't hear that, what, what are these again? Unsent tweets. Unsent tweets. Yeah. Hashtag Twitter joke? These are on their way to Twitter. They're just barreling in. Yeah. This guy, he kind of like is landing kind of like the greatest American hero. You know how the greatest American hero could fly very well but not land correctly? That's kind of what this bird is actually doing. And this guy's dive bombing as well. These are flirting. Flirting pigs. Yeah. If you're going to be a pig, you might as well be a flirty, flirty pig. Look at this. What kind of bird is this with these, this red and yellow coloring on there? All right. Bat, whoa. This is a rambunctious child. This child is very rambunctious because, look, he is actually... He's actually trying to hurt the pigs. He actually has this, what is this thing called? The slingshot. And he has omitted and left the slingshot. The rock has left the slingshot. And he's shooting it at the flirting pigs. And that's what this bird is warning him of. Watch out, grrr, grrr. here comes a rock. Flirting pigs from this kid, this rambunctious child. I am very disappointed. And that young lad and his disregard for flirting pig safety. I don't really know where this vlog is actually really going. Hopefully, and the way we played it off. On vacation. We played it off as if we didn't drive here together. We played it off like I just randomly stumbled into you. And as far as they know, as far as those watching, I did. But in reality, we rode together. We did. We, and the guy at the beginning of the vlog, as far as they know, rode with us as well. 
which would be a very interesting subject to have all of us together in the same vehicle, yeah. driving around, talking about pig that would be a murals. Look at these guys harnessed. They're harnessed together. Now, I have never in my entire life, I have never, have you ever seen this, Eric? I've never seen it, no. I have never seen a child driving in a cart with two pigs harnessed carrying him around. Have you guys ever seen this before? Have you ever been harnessed, pig carried around farmland? That is very, very interesting. I should have stopped the vlog a while back, but let's be honest, we're just going to keep roaming and showing you more murals because this, I stated at the beginning of the vlog, is the largest pig mural in the world. Sure. Exactly. See, I do not know if that's factual. Wait, 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 wait. Can you say that one more time? Wait a second. Let's do it this way. Are okay. you want me to say it first? Yeah, yeah, say it. Eric, you know what this is? This is the largest pig mural in the world? Yeah. Is that a throwback to the joke? Yeah. Early? <laughs> Your vocabulary today is blowing my mind, Eric. Yeah. You have a YouTube page as well. I do. Uh, correct? Uh, YouTube.com slash Eric DMC. Eric with a K. Eric with a K, yeah. DMC. What kind of videos are you? What videos have you done in the past? You were uh, telling me about one that involved a Power Ranger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm you want to talk Power about Ranger. that one? I'm a fat Power Ranger then. I really want to check that video out. Now that you've told me about it, I actually want to, want to see that video. And then we were talking about a Power Ranger filming location in California. So maybe one day we can visit the Power Ranger well, I can be filming. in the costume. You could be in the costume. Yeah. That would be awesome. I would be totally down to do that with you. That would be super, super cool. This has been the first video that we have been in together. We're working on a main channel video well, for the Adam the Woo channel. Technically, we have been in another video together. We, oh, you're right. The yeah. meetup. Yeah. I did a meetup a year ago. You were there as well as a few other people. That was outside Knott's Berry Farm. This is video number two. That's true. So if anyone remembers the meetup video, Eric with the K. DMC was there as well, which is super cool. A Kool-Aid shirt. A Kool-Aid. I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. Even though that was a year ago, my memory does serve me well. So go over to Eric with a K, DMC's YouTube channel and say hello. I'm kind of stoked on that Power Ranger idea now. We should actually do that at some, some point. Is that your tractor? Yeah. Oh yeah, you know what? Because the initials here, FJ, definitely are your initials. Yeah. Eric with a K, FJ. Eric with a K, FJ. Yeah, seems seems legit, Eric. That's definitely Stands your tractor. Stands are friendly and jolly. Fr oh, okay, that's it. That's where I am. All right, so now that, that would stand up in a court of law. That would, would be a yeah. legal, aspect for you keeping that track. I call that a legal binding contract. We're actually getting cool. Whoa, look at this guy just chilling. This guy just chilling. Not only is he chilling, he's singing. He has some singing notes right there coming out of his mouth. Really cool. If you're going to sit by a truck stop, if you're going to sit by a bus stop, I should say, not a truck stop, you'd want to sit in front of some piggies, some little piggies wallowing drinking, sitting in the grass, festooning themselves in the water. And we're reaching the back side of this, but it actually loops around. And here you can see some of the barbed and razor wire up above this little wagon that in comparison, that wagon is nothing compared to the gargantuan size of these pigs in this mural. And it just continues on. It just continues on down the way. Here we have a young woman taking a young woman who obviously I don't know. What is your first impression when you think of this? You have a woman bearing some of her 
personal body parts a little too much, carrying a stick, and then she's carrying the rope, which is attached to a pig's nostril. Look at this, the pig's nostril, pulling the pig along, and then just barely holding the rope. And this beautiful woman holding a stick. What is the first thing you think of that, Eric, when you see that? You said impressions, right? You said my first impression? Yes. The only impression I want right now is to impress her. Hey, lady. Want to come back and uh, wrap yourself around me like a piece of bacon? <laughs> Wait a second, stay there. No, she's not even looking at you. So she's obviously, can you scoot over just a little more? We got the sun in here. Scoot over just, there we go, just like that. There we go. That's not really going to be a good default for the pig oh, mural, but you were definitely making yourself very cozy. And in your mind, you did not realize that you're really just laying against a slab of concrete or yeah, concrete. concrete cinder blocks. <laughs> All right, let's get over here. Let's get this in here. Put your face right down here. And let's just look here. We're gonna get the default picture. Look look at me. Look at me. There we go. Awesome, that's gonna be the default picture for the world's largest and or longest pig mural. mural. Yeah. Very good. Very, very good. We've almost made it to the end. All right, moment of quietness. Let me finish by saying thank you for watching. Thanks for bearing with this lengthy vlog, walking around a pig mural here in Vernon, California. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Go check out Eric's YouTube channel. Any last words before the moment of quietness before we end the vlog? Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Have a great day. Whoa. What the heck? All right, continuing on. What a very unusual vlog. <laughs> Thanks for watching. By the way, look at Los Angeles over there. Downtown LA, city of Vernon. Pretty wild and wacky. Check down below for my t-shirts. Also go to my website, adamthewoo.com. And also check down below for where I was one year ago and two years ago. Also check out Eric's YouTube page. Me and him have been filming some stuff for my main channel, the Adam the Woo channel. Subscribe to that, it's absolutely free, as well as this one. And thanks for bearing with this long, 30 minute, almost 30 minute vlog. If you're still watching this vlog, leave a comment down below if you are still watching. I'm very curious if you are still watching this vlog at this 30, we're almost at the 30 minute mark, Eric. Wow, that's like a half hour. That's, that's, that's a half hour to you and I. Yeah. So there you go, the last, get in here, get in here, get in there. We got 15 seconds for them to just stare at our faces.
What do we do for the next 15, 10 seconds? Nine, eight. Just Just your happy thoughts. Happy thoughts? Yeah. What am I thinking right now, Eric? Eggs. Correct. <laughs>